Howdy doody and what's going on YouTube? All right, so I brought you already the case tribal lock. Um, this happens to be the knife that never leaves my side. Um, ever since I got this thing, it is always, always, always in my pocket. Freaking awesome. Um, I also brought you this guy right here, the case Mako, which is again, awesome, awesome, awesome. And one of the cool things about the Mako is it has relatives. And um, I wanna introduce you to the Mako's little brother, the case caliber now it's it doesn't have the uh the fancy frame and the big thick steel like it's big brother um instead what it has is i know there's a special word for the um the kind of handle it is it's like a plastic material but um it's got a it's got fairly good knurling on it giving it a good grip and this thing is crazy crazy light i'm not going to do a, a super huge review because you've already seen um, it's Big Brother the Mako and what it does. What I am going to tell you is what this knife is good for. Um, because this is not an every task knife. Um, having a very, very thin clip point, you do not want to risk breaking this by using it for tasks it cannot do. With this one, I was literally um, batoning with it. N nothing could happen to it. Nothing. Um, this one I wouldn't do that with just because it's a, it's a lighter bodied knife. It's not made to handle that kind of stuff. What it is made to do is it's made to be sharp. I mean, look at this, look at this. I am newly bald. Um, this thing is crazy freaking sharp and being so thin, it's almost like having a, a clip point utility knife. Um, and, and that's what's cool about it. It's uh, this is thick cardboard, right? Instead of uh, doing a little paper test, show you this little blade makes you know quick work of fine cutting um, projects that you have to do. You get a package in the mail, you need to open it up. Crap! Use this, man. This is going to um, this is going to get any cutting job done that you need to do like that. If if you need to pair a pair you know slice an apple this thing is exactly that kind of knife um but i'm going to tell you what i use it for and what i think every person should use this for this is the kind of knife that you can get on ebay for less than 20 dollars for the most collected or collectible knife brand on the planet um people collect these because case knives increase in value and they and something like this is going to hold its value um and it's worth having but what i like to do with it is put it somewhere put it somewhere that it's going to be in a spot where if i need an emergency knife if i need to cut something it's there this is the kind of knife that you you can put in your pocket boop if you have a a you know a belt knife or something this is a great backup blade um this is something that you put in your go bag this is something that you put in your camping bag or your hiking bag this is something that you put in your camel back um this is something that you just throw somewhere in your car you can put it because nobody smokes anymore it's bad for you you put it in your old ashtray what are you using that thing for anyway um this is a uh a backup type cutting knife um that is basically something that you want to take and you want to put somewhere knowing that if you need an edge you have one that's going to get the job done this is not a beat on it knife understand that but we're still going to do a couple things so let's go have some fun all right so normally a knife of this size weight and thickness is not something you can play around with and throw into wood and worry about not breaking because it's it's gonna curl up on you it's gonna have faults um but not every knife this size is made by case and um for me that's the major difference i have enough faith in this knife to know what it's i know what it's used for and what it's made for and what it's supposed to be for but i also know 
that I can do things that it's not made for. Um, being an emergency cutter doesn't mean it's only going to cut in an emergency. I mean, if I need to pair wood, I mean, this thing, it's just so sharp and so easy to use. I mean, look at the little wood chips. I think you can see that just flying off of there. Oh my gosh, I need to make a fire. I need some feather sticking. Well, guess what? This is like one of the best knives you can use. Uh, they're all falling off. They're so thin. Um, best knives you could use for feather sticking because the blade is razor-esque. Um, you can use it for notching. You can use it for um, skinning. I mean, it's just so fine to be able to take off those little points. If I wanted to notch with it, just use a nice little thumb grip, get it in there, pull that out. I'll even do one on the other side here. And so basically what we're going to do is, are you guys paying attention? Are you am I in the shot? Yeah, we're in the shot. So here we go. If you're a, um, a camper, hiker, anybody uses tent posts or, or anything like that, um, or tent spikes, you know, you know the need for a really good notching knife this thing is a good notching i'm a harley guy when i hear that e -e -e -e, oh my god it drives me crazy um i hate it so this knife it is i mean it just carving with it you wouldn't guess that without the weight and without the meat that it would be able to remove so much wood at one time um it's actually surprising to me that it, it can do that but man i can end up with this knife making a tip out of a piece of wood that's stronger than most people's knives you know that it's a serious little carver um again it, even with it with the capabilities it has i'm still taking this thing and i'm putting it in my car or my go bag or i'm carrying it as a um as a as a second carry you know a carry along um the knife is the knife is great it's just a, a really really good knife lock holds up banging it against there the tip holds up what is that even for? yeah that was in frame um but it's it's typical case um and it's it has a typical case style dura, durability all that nice little sticky sap on there um and it's um it's not an ugly knife. It's not a crazy attractive knife. You're not going to look at it and go, oh my God, that case caliber is beautiful. No, it's not. But you're not going to also look at it and go, you know, um, because it, it, it is what it is. You know, it's just a nice little black handled knife, you know, with a, with a silver stainless steel blade. But a silver stainless steel blade, that gets the job done anytime, every time. You know what I mean? Are you gonna go trench him with this thing? No, you'd have to be pretty mental to um, to think you even can. But carving and uh, you know giving it light tosses like that, um, notching, um, cutting rope, cutting open cardboard, things that you just might need it for, it's gonna do. Even if you have it in your car and you need an emergency seatbelt cutter, it's so sharp, right through the seatbelt, no problem. Um, I'm not going to do a ton on this because, I mean, you know what it is. It's a case lockback that gets a job done when you need a cutter. And um, it's as a fine as a small cutter as you're going to get. I can get myself a utility knife and, uh, you know, scrape through things. But then I have to worry about snapping off that little razor blade. With this, I don't really worry about that. Doing the same kind of job as a razor blade would do, um, I have more faith in the in the construction of this just because the blade is so much thicker and I know the quality of steel that's going into it. Um, it's not going to win the door prize at the beauty contest, but it's, you know, it's going to do everything that you need it to do. It's just a great little, you know, sub $20 knife that you can put anywhere. It's just so little that um, when it's folded up, it's you're never going to know it's there it's not going to be obtrusive it's it's not going to be a pain in the butt to have in your pocket um you know and the jeans when you have that third pocket that little tiny one these guys boop slip right in there 
and um, it's so light you don't have to worry about oh it's holding down my pants um, it's just a good good little knife I mean the tip is so fine I could probably carve nose hairs with this but we're not gonna try that because I don't have any I'm like a, you know I'm one of those well-groomed men um, so yeah this is a uh, a great little backup blade and something that is really really good to keep in a emergency situation you know you need a cutter even i'll tell you what another good thing too is if you have a kid who's learning to whittle or, or wants to have a knife and needs a first knife don't spend 60 dollars on your kid's first knife spend 20 you know it's it's a blade that anybody can use to have fun with i mean you can whittle with this and make anything i mean i don't know if you guys can see it but you see that giant pine tree over there that wasn't a pine tree it was a mountain yesterday i actually carved it with this um I'm, I'm just really really good like that so anyway this is what we have we have case double x that's the uh that's the stamp you want to look for um caliber uh folding knife gets the job done awesome little blade it's cool it's useful and it's handy i am donnie b all day and until next knife